crowd is on its feet. The ball's in the air. Darren wins the tip to house. St. Creighton has the basketball to start with. It's McKinney. Shy half court crossover. Takes Hairston and beats him into the front court to Corver against Brooks. To Lindemann. On the right side it goes to House. Looks inside, feeds the post, Darren, double team on, Willis and Dearman, off to House. He goes on the dribble drive to the free throw and leaps and fires from 14 and shoots it in. And Creighton gets the first basket, is 2 to nothing Blue Jays. Hairston's a third of the way up. Creighton's infamous trap is waiting for Hairston and shy of the trap. He cross courts it to the left side to Brooks, back to Hairston, and Southern's in the front court to Kent on the right boundary. Kent, one dribble, gives it up to Hairston at the top of the circle. McKinney gives him room. Now Willis gives it up to... Kent right of the circle against zone. It's Brooks. Brooks at the top of the circle. Creighton starts in zone, much like Evansville did the other night. Hairston with 11 on the shot clock. Takes it to the left, pass to the left wing, corner left. Kent for a deep three. Short rebounded by Creighton's Corver. Corver got a double-double against Southern the first time. He gets on the boards as well. He gets six rebounds again. Free throw line left. It's Corver. Low post left. It goes to Darren. Back it in. Here's a turnaround jump. Hook and it's four to nothing as Darren scores over Dearman. And the opening minutes go to Creighton. Into the front court, Harrison splits the trap and draws the foul from Patrick McKinney. There was contact at half court. That's the game's first foul. Great selected to go inside early, too, Mike. They're really attacking Southern on the inside. House gets the first basket. He's a slasher, a driver. He gets in the lane area, gets a short jumper with that last possession. Wow, they go inside and let Brody Darren go to work. And he gets an easy one. 4 nothing. Quick start for the Blue Jays. Here's Kent at the left of the circle. Left corner, it goes to Darren Brooks, who had a double-double against this club in Omaha. Look inside, outside instead. It goes around the horn to Kent. Low post right. It's Willis. Back and in. Turns. Ducks under left hand. Push shot at Shy. Rebounded by Darren. Willis ended up with a good look, but hit the underside of the rim. Here's McKinney at the right hash. Between the circles. Give it up to Lindemann. Feed to the post. It's uh, Corver against Brooks. Out the house. Wide open three with Willis coming out at him, and he buries it, and it's 7 0. And House hits his 16th three and senior night off to a slow start for Southern. What a good look by Corver, though, right over the top of the defense. Here's Kent on the left side. It goes to Brooks. Brooks into the front court. Between the circles against the Creighton zone. Open top of the circle. Shoots a three. In and out. No good. Rebound tap. And it comes away to Creighton. And Southern's 0 for 2. 0 for 3 now from the floor. Into the front court. Here's McKinney for the Blue Jays. McKinney. Heads to the left hash, now reverses, takes it to the right hash, and throws to Corver on the right wing. Look inside, ball fake to Lindemann, outside on the dribble to McKinney. Left of the circle to the left wing. Goes baseline, he's shut off. Looking inside, outside instead, he throws to Lindemann on the far boundary against Brooks. Inside to Darren, 13 on the shot clock. Turns, jump hook, it's up, it's short, no good. Rebounded by Brooks and Southern runs. Up the floor on the right side, angles into the lane. Brooks trying to go coast to coast, can't do it. Lost the dribble, got it back. Jermaine takes it in the lane, runs over Darren. That's an offensive foul. Jermaine picks up Southern's first foul, and the Sudokus are still scoreless two and a half minutes into the game. Yeah, not a good start by Southern, Mike. Southern's motor's just running way, way too fast to start this ball game. And a good move by Creighton to start in zone. Yeah, they went to that zone defense and appeared to rattle Southern. Creighton 7, Southern nothing. We're in the opening three minutes of the ball game. Here's McKinney into the front court. The Blue Jays left to right as we watch courtside at jam-packed SIU Arena. Right side, it goes to Corver to the post, and Darren turns baseline, right-hand flinger, no rebound by Willis, SIU with the ball. Southern's gotten the last two defensive boards. Hairston into the front court, top of the circle, crossover, back it up, give it to Willis, to Kent. To the right corner, it's Brooks, it's a three, in and out, no good. Willis boards in, tipped in an offensive goaltending. Goaltending on Creighton, and Willis will get the basket as the ball was blocked, I believe, by Brody Darren. And the Salukis get their first basket, and Coach Weber subs Josh Warren and Brian Turner. Yeah, it looked like Darren actually went up inside the cylinder to make the block on the play. Once he got inside that cylinder, count the basket, Willis on the offensive glass. And a much-needed basket for SIU. Let's see what Southern's bench does tonight. And Turner and Warren are in there before the first media timeout. Here's Corver at the left of the circle for SIU. Feed it to the high post and Dabber to the right wing. It goes to McKinney. Slides shy of the baseline. Picks up the dribble. Leaning in over the shoulder pass. Not loose in the steal. Kent throws it ahead to Jermaine. One-on-one -on -one with Corver to the goal. Here he is. Lay up there. Williams with the assist. Dearman with a finish. And Southern makes it 7-4. Creighton. Good defense by the dogs in the lane. Helped set up J.D. for his first basket tonight. Into the front court. Here comes Creighton. It is McKinney, the sophomore guard, to Larry House on the left wing against Dearman. Back to McKinney between the circles. High post right, Dabbitt. Pick the uh, handoff. Now give it to on a handoff to House on the right wing. Pop up. It's a three over Dearman. No good. Rebounded by Brian Turner, but stripped and stolen by Lindemann. To House. Throw back to Lindemann. Shot fake. Go baseline. Fire from 15 on the right side. In and out. No good. Lunging. Dabbert rebounds. Can't stick it back. Under the goal. Works back up. No good. And a foul. And Dabbert working his tail off. Josh Warren fouled him. And a technical foul. 
Lindemann. Burt Smith, the referee, just called a technical foul. Steve Skiles called the foul on Josh Warren. It is his first foul. Now the three officials are talking about it, but apparently it's he on Lindemann. Yeah, no, I think it's going to be on Dapper. I think it's going to be on it's either on Lindemann or Dabber. It's on one of those two players for the way they handle the basketball after the play. Yeah, I think it's on Dabber. I really do. The three officials are talking about it. In the meantime, Weber will talk to Kent at the right hash in front of us. One of Lindemann's teammates, McKinney, grabbed Lindemann's jersey as if to settle down. And now Lindemann goes to the Creighton bench. And let's see what the call is going to be. First, it is a technical. And Kent is at the free throw line to our left, where he's 74% from the line this year. Burt Smith, the referees at the scorer's table to our left. And making the official calling. So Dabbert gets his first foul. And let's see how Kent does at the free throw line, where he's 79% in league play. The Salukis trail by three. Dabbert apparently slammed the ball to the floor. Here's the free throw. Oh, no good. He missed it. And Kent is 0 for 2, once from the floor, once from the line. Trying to make it a 7 to 5 ball game. We're just ahead of immediate timeout. Here is the next shot. Got it. And that has to help him settle down a little bit. And it's 7 to 5. No matter how tough you are, Greg Stare, in this sort of setting, they've never experienced this. This is a different boat here tonight. And there have to be some jitters that affect your play. Yeah, you're always going to be a little bit nervous, Mike. And, uh, you know, that, that technical foul really surprised me this early in the ball game. And, you know, if you're looking for something to change a little bit of the mode that Creighton had. Free throw by Dabbert. Good. Dabbert is a great free throw shooter. He's 80% from the line. Their post players, Mike Grimes, Brody Darren, and Joe Dabbert, combined for 21 and a half points and 12 rebounds per game. So they get good play in the post. Another one coming from Dabbert. The Blue Jays lead by three and now four as Dabbert nails both of them. And here comes Grimes into the ballgame for Dabbert. Nate Funk is in the ballgame, a freshman guard who struggled early in the season, but now has eight points a game in the last five games. They guard Kent on the inbound with Corver. He gets it into Jermaine. Jermaine turns. Everybody clears by, but he needs a guard. Dribbles once. Now a couple more times. Gives it to Brooks. They get into the front court with two seconds to spare. Darren Brooks, center jump circle. Takes it toward the right hash, cross courts it back on the left side. Kent to the post, late for Warren, knocked loose. There's a battle out of bounds off Creighton, and it's still Saluki ball, much to Dana Altman's chagrin. We have immediate timeout. Creighton leads at 9 to 5, and we'll be back to SIU Arena in 90 seconds. Hungry Saluki fans? If so, why don't you get the whole gang together and swing on down to Larry's Pit Barbecue? From Saluki Athletics official wireless provider for cellular. Creighton, 9, Southern, 3, at the 15:48 mark of the first half. Jermaine will be our guest on the Golden Corral halftime tonight. And Corver's yet to get a shot in the basketball game. He's made some nice passes, and they, Creighton got out of that quick 7-0 lead, and Willis gets a stick back on the offensive end. Durham in a breakaway. Williams gets a free throw, and 9-5 lead for the Creighton Blue Jays. Darren Brooks to inbound it, just to the right of the Creighton bench. He tosses it into Kent, who has it the center jump circle. Kent, top of the circle against DeAnthony Bowden. Right boundary, it goes to Brooks. Bothered by Bowden. Wraparound pass to Turner. Left of the circle to the left wing against Funk. To Warren, top of the circle. Shot clock's at six. Kent left of the circle. Kick it over to Turner. Three in the left corner. Brian Nail. That's the first first side of the three of this game for the Dogs. Brian Turner with 21 threes this year. He's 12 out of his last 15. Nine to eight. The Blue Jays lead it by one. Here's Corver at the right hash against Darren Brooks. Between the circles to Funk. Left hash, left wing. Go baseline, shut off by Turner. Back it out front, sloppy pass. Lindemann goes near half court to get it. To Bowden at the right hash. Opening five minutes of the game. It is Bowden. It is Lindemann. High post left. It is Grimes. Dribble handoff. It is Lindemann on the left side. To Bowden with nine on the shot clock. Looking inside, outside instead. Lindemann goes on the baseline, driving deep. Wrap around pass. Funk with five on the clock. A three in and out. No good. Rebounded by Brooks in front of Corbett. Brooks eyes the floor. Southern pushes it to Kent on the right boundary. Cross court. It's Turner. Shot fake around Corver. Go baseline and fire from 12. No. Rebound lunging. Knocked out of bounds by Warren. And it is Creighton basketball. Length of the floor to go. Much to Bruce Weber's chagrin, the Saluki coach. Yeah, I think you made the right call. It looked like to me Warren slapped it out, too. On the inbound, it is Creighton's Lindemann defunct. 
who checks with coach Dana Altman, 12 and 6, lifetime against SIU. Into the front court, here comes Funk. Funk between the circles at the right hash on the right wing. Top of the circle, got a screen, take it to the free throw line, give it up to Lindemann. Look inside, throw it to the post. Grimes turns and faces Warren to Funk. Looking back inside of Grimes, dribble instead, into the lane. Dumps it off in the right corner, Lindemann. He slashes to the right wing, to Bowden. Inside it goes to Grimes. Spin move, a shot over Warren, way off, no good. Rebounded again by Brooks and Southern runs. Creighton is back. Brooks into the front court, top of the circle. Southern going for the lead. Here's Brooks, dribbles through to the right boundary. To the low post, Warren. Turn on Grimes, jump hook, no. Rebounded by Creighton. And Lindemann comes away with the basketball, and Josh Warren got a good look, but just a little shy. Funk races free to the line. Nobody picks him up, and he shoots it in. Nate Funk. Everybody looked at everybody else. Nobody guarded him, and the Blue Jays lead by three. At half court, it is Turner. Into the front court, skip it cross court on the right side. It is Kent. Kent looking for his first uh, basket of the game. Corver looking for his first basket in the game. Here's Jermaine. Right of the circle. They leave him open at 18, and he shoots it in. Jermaine has four. Southern's back within one, 11 to 10 at the arena. And Dierman, a nice square up move that time to knock down the jumper. Here is Funk to Bowden on the right wing against Kent. Looking inside, looking outside. Outside he finds Funk, high post left is Grimes. Hand off to Funk, leans in from 12 and shoots it no good and rebounded by Jermaine. Outlet pass to Turner on the right side of the floor. Bryant's at the center of the floor. He's into the front court at the right of the circle. Looks inside, bounce pass outside. Kent, shot big, go to 21, loop it over to Jermaine. Open on the left side, 18, yeah! Jermaine's hit two, one on the left, one on the right. And Southern has it first lead at the arena, 12 to 11, and the crowd's on its feet. Opening seven minutes of the ball game. Media timeout is just ahead. Here's Nate Funk with the left pass on the left wing. Backs it up, ball knocked loose by Turner on the boundary, out of bounds, off of Turner, and it's Creighton ball with 12.53 to play, and Kyle Porter signals to his teammates to settle down as Kevin Milner comes in for Lindemann, and Tyler McKinney comes in for Funk at the 12.53 mark of the first half. Well, what Porter's teammates need to do, they need to find him a little bit. I mean, Southern's really doing the job. Brooks did the job early, and then also Brian Turner. It looks like Blake Schoen is in the ball game now. Now he's going to draw the tough assignment of Kyle Corver, a freshman against a senior. And Jermaine off to a great start, gets his first rest. Here's McKinney between the circles. Media timeouts just ahead. Corner right, Bowden. Bowden against Kent. Kent all over him. Bowden spins on the dribble, backs it up. Kent closes on him. Out front, it's McKinney. Go free throw line, into the lane, runs to the goal, and that's a walk. That's one time where a run is a walk, Greg, and that's a turnover, either way you look at it. Well, Southern really turned it up that time defensively. Ball game for Southern. You got Corn, you got Schoen, you got Harrison, you got Willis, and also Kent Williams. Kent will inbound it as Creighton sets the press. Referee Paul Jansen hands Kent the basketball, and they toss it in, and Harrison has it one on one with the rookie Milner. Cross court it to Kent, shy of the trap. Cross courts it back to Harrison into the front court on the left side. Returns to Kent at 25, shot fake. Go to the free throw line, jumps top of the lane, right hand, push good. Kent scores off the dribble. There's his first basket. Southern leads by three. Into the front court, it's McKinney, and Harrison comes up on him. Center jump circle. Now to Corver, left of the circle. Beats the free throw line and Grimes. Grimes with his back to the goal. Now turns and faces Willis. Back to Milner. Southern stifling on the defensive end right now. Here's Bowden on the left side to Lindemann with Hairston right in his face. To Bowden between the circles. High post right, Grimes rolls in the lane. Ball stripped by Hairston to court. Southern runs. Stetson has it. Three on two. Hairston rises from 12 and fires it. No good. Rebounded by Willis. Southern still with the ball. Blake Schoen in the left corner. They dare him to shoot. He does it. Willis in the lane. Turnaround shot. No. Rebound tap. Loose ball on the floor. Out of bounds. Off of Creighton. No. Off Southern. And it's salute. That's off Creighton. Referee Steve Skiles just pointed straight up in the air. It's Saluki ball when we come back from the media timeout. Saluki 14. Blue Jays 11. Back to the arena in 90 seconds. Make plans now to attend the 2003 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Tournament March 7th through 10th at Savas Center in St. Louis. Arch Madness showcases some of the best college basketball. But his scoreboard, banking with local advantage, First Bank and Trust of Murfreesboro has roots in Murfreesboro. Slow start by Southern Mike. They trailed by seven, but now they're on a 14 to four run. They grab the lead at 12 to 11 on a Deerman basket. And then Williams gets his first two, 14 to 11 dogs. Harrison looks for the lob, throws a step, corn three, left corn good! some big threes in front of big crowds in this building. That's one of them. Southern builds a six-point lead, 17 to 11. 
Into the front court, here comes McKinney. On the far boundary with the ball, it is House. Right in the circle, Mac loose, Kent goes for it. Kent gets the steal, throws it to Willis. Two on one with Schoen, he slows it down, Willis does. Back to Kent, over to Schoen, to Korn, right in the circle, goes free to the line, dumps it, back door, dunk, oh, block. Loose ball comes away, and what a great play by Darren to block Willis, who is attempting to dunk. Here's Milner into the front court. Southern should have got a basket there, didn't. Here's Milner on the far boundary with the ball. It's Corver on the uh, left wing. It is House for Creighton. Looks inside off the ball, a foul, and it's on Southern, a hook. Off the ball, and it's a foul on Hairston. That is his first foul. And Corver's yet to get a shot in the ball game, Mike, but he's very relaxed. He's very poised. And he's such a confident player, and he makes his other players so good around him. But I think it's about time he took charge on the offensive end. Creighton needs a basket from him. Corn is guarding him now on the inbound. Throw it in the left corner in Corver. Corn is right with him. Pop up, dump it down low. Darren left of the lane. Double teams on. Dribbles out of it to Milner at the left of the circle. Low post left. It goes to Darren. Goes baseline through the lane. Right corner. It is House. He's open. He's going to shoot it. It's no good. It's rebounded by Darren. Who's shoved off. Darren pushed off to get that rebound. That's his first foul. It's the Furniture King scoring summary. It's brought to you by Southern Illinois' largest furniture store. It's east of the wall. Carbondale. Dearman with six leads SIU. House with five leads Creighton. The Furniture King scoring summary sponsored by the Furniture King, Southern Illinois' largest furniture store. Willis very active on the inside, Mike. Sylvester Willis, four rebounds already. Harrison in the front court for the Salukis who lead by six, 17 to 11 at SIU Arena. Hairston gives it up to Willis at the left of the circle. Ten and a half to play in the first half. Golden Corral, halftime is upcoming. Dribble handoff to Hairston, left of the circle. Backdoor pass, nobody home. Kent didn't cut in. Stetson thought he was going to. Southern goes dry in back-to-back possessions. Darren Brooks coming back in for SIU at the 10-29 mark of the first half. And Kent gets his first rest in tonight's ball game. It's warm here in the arena. Sellout crowd. It was sold out a month ago. And the lower bleachers at either end were filled 20 minutes after the door is open. Into the front court with the basketball, it's McKinney. Free throw line now right of the circle. Darren left side, Corver give and go to House down low. Wraparound pass for Darren, throw it away to Harrison. Southern runs. It is two on two is shown. Harrison in the lane. Over the shoulder, a hook to Corn. Left corner for a three. No. Rebound long comes to Corver. And the Blue Jays race. It's two on two. McKinney into the front court. Back to Corver to the post. Caught by Milner. Leans in, goes up. Over Brook. No good. Rebounded by Willis. Outlet pass to Harrison. Southern runs. Creighton is back. Hairston on the far boundary. Hairston to the free throw lane. Out to Brooks. Shot big. Go to the right wing. Into the lane. Right hand push. Banking. No. Slap. No. Next one to Corver who uh, trips over a teammate and comes away on the dribble. Into the front court. It's Corver. He's at the left hash between the legs. Dribble. Throw it to the post. And Darren against Corn. Runs him over. Blocking foul on Corn. Brad picks up his first foul to go with one basket in this game. 9.39 remaining in the ballgame. The Salute, first half, rather, the Salukis lead by six. And Southern's had three opportunities, Mike, on that offensive end. They've had that lead at six point. Had three opportunities to up that lead. Just got nothing done on the offensive end. Kent is coming back in. So is Jermaine. Brian Turner is back in, too. Hairston goes out. Darren Brooks is in there. Josh Warren is in there. 9.39 to play in the first half. On the inbound, it's Tyler McKinney for Creighton. The Blue Jays under the goal. It's McKinney looking, looking for the lob. It isn't there. Still looking, still looking. Now throws it into Corbett. The left hash left of the circle. Forces a three. It's no good. Rebounded by Warren for SIU. Southern could use a basket here. Dry on three straight possessions. Kent in the front court. Between the legs dribble. Looks inside. Outside instead it goes to Warren. Who looks inside. Outside Jermaine at 18 against Corver. Looks at Turner. Out of the out front it comes to with Kent. He goes to the right wing and fires. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Darren as Kent tried to score off the dribble going right. Up the floor, it's Lindemann on the left wing for Creighton. Out front, it comes to Corver. Southern up by six. Dry and four straight possessions, but Creighton dry right now, too. Here's Bowden at the right hash. High post left to Darren. Turn, throws back to Corver, a three. Air ball to Turner. Oh, this place will be up for grabs now. Into the front court, here comes Turner. Turner, baseline. It is Jermaine, wide open, 17-footer. Good! Corver air balls a three. Jermaine brings a two. Baseline right in. How about that turn of events? And Southern's rolling, Mike. It's a 19-4 run. And Creighton has to call the first time out and listen to this play. Kyle Corver air balled a three. Jermaine Dearman netted a two. Baseline right. And Southern has the biggest lead for either team. Eight right now. 19-11 at the 8.43 mark. Southern... They've got it going on on the offensive end. 19 to 4 run. Dearman 7 for 7 against Evansville Wednesday. 4 for 4 tonight against Creighton. 
SIU 19, Creighton 11. Here's McKinney. On the far boundary, it goes to Lindemann. He looks inside, outside instead to McKinney. High post right, it is Darren. A handoff to McKinney, goes to the wing, Turner right with him. To Grimes at the left of the circle. Southern appears to have Creighton's plays covered beautifully. They're sets. High post right, it's Darren. Fakes the handoff to one, gives it to the second man, Lindemann. Pops one from 18, good! Oh, that's a patented Creighton play. Fake to the first man, weaving through. Then give it to the next man, and he nails the jumper. It's 19-13. Brooks against the trap. Gives it up to Kent. Southern has turned it over only three times. Creighton five so far. Over the shoulder pass, it is Warren right of the circle. Looks left, looks right, looking at Kent. Can't get it to him. Now he can on a dribble handoff. Kent, right of the circle. Takes a Warren screen to the right wing, and Darren bumps him and fouls him. That's his second foul, and we have immediate timeout. Four fouls on each team. Let's break for 90. 7.56 to play in the first half. SIU 19, Creighton 13. Whether you're building a new house or just fixing up the one you have now, Right to It Center can help. If you need hardware, we've got it. A complete line of wiser doorknobs, interior and exterior, casters, cabinets, screws, nuts, bolts, hinges, storm door fixtures, and much, much... ...experience helping individuals build financial security. Northern Iowa beat Drake. Illinois State beat Indiana State. Wichita and Southwest are tied in the second half. Evansville by 16 over Bradley and Peoria in the second half. Here, 1913 Southern, Edward Jones investing in your dream. Jermaine open, 18-footer, got it! What a week, Greggy, 12 for 12 this week. And all of his shots tonight at 18 feet. 21-13, Saluki's back up by eight. Into the front court with the ball, it is McKinney against Hairston, ran him into a screen, picks up the dribble and throws to Lindemann. Lindemann left of the circle, looking inside, can't throw it there. Outside and around the horn, it comes to Bowden. Bowden back to McKinney between the rings, and Hairston comes out and checks him. 15 on the shot clock. Southern really defending well here. Now to Dabbert. Dabbert, a handoff. It's McKinney, taking it to the right wing. Goes baseline, throws it back out, and a bad pass to half court. It goes over and back. It was touched by Southern. Bowden back into the front court. Four on the shot clock. Top of the circle. Free throw line. Bowden in the lane. Goes baseline to the goal. Missed it. Rebounded by Warren. Shot clock violation. The miss. Never the, the miss. Never hit the rim. Shot clock violation. The dogs get the basketball. Well, Southern's really doing the job on the defensive end. Yep. Not giving it anything on the inside and, and no perimeter shots at all. Creighton only one three-pointer so far in the ball game. They average eight per ball game. Southern breaks the pressure nicely to Brooks to Jermaine. Slices into the lane. Right hand pushing Travis. Foul to go to the line. Wow, is Jermaine having a first half. In this ball game, he has 10 points in 13 minutes, and big game Jermaine sure is big here in this big game. Yeah, he's really stepped up, Mike, and he's doing it on the offensive end by not, by not going too fast when he's catching the basketball. We're not seeing him down on the post. He's squared up to the basket. In these last two ball games, we're seeing him hitting those short-range jumpers, 15, 18 feet. After the game, it's the Ian Baker Chevrolet Cadillac go-to guy of the game. Jermaine misses the free throw. Rob Cash and Company make a financial contribution to the Saluki Athletic Scholarship Fund. Kyle Corver back into the ball game. He went to the bench for his first rest after he shot that air ball. Here comes another one for Jermaine, trying to salvage one of the two, and he does. Jermaine at 63% from the line, picks up 11 in this ball game here in the first half, and Jermaine is now number 16 all time in scoring at SIU and number. 17 all-time in the Missouri Valley. Right of the circle, it is Corver. He goes to the wing to the baseline and fires it in. Baseline right, Kyle Corver scores. That's his first basket of the game, and it came 13 minutes and 20 seconds into the game. Here's Brooks shy of half court. Darren still shot. Corver's on him, Bowden's on him, Trebles here, throws it to front court. Warren, they break it. Warren turns, trying to find a guard. Wraparound bounce pass to Brooks. Brooks right of the circle for SIU, which leads by seven. Brooks to turn, or Hairston, shot fake, go baseline, rise, double clutch, fire short. Rebounded by Creighton, and Corver comes away with it. Into the front court, here comes McKinney. McKinney for blue clad, blue clad Creighton. Lindemann looking inside at Grimes, outside instead to Corver, right wing. It's Bowden for a three, no rebound long. Grimes has it for Creighton to Corver. Corner left, it's Lindemann. Slash to the left wing, in the lane, fakes. Shut off, goes to Bowden on the post. Wrap around, in deep, trying to reverse layup, does, but he misses. Loose ball battle, Corver, Warren. Warren can't hold it, out of bounds. And it's Creighton ball into the goal. Gosh, couldn't get those meat hooks on it. Here comes Willis into the ball game for Warren. 5.55 to play before the Golden Corral halftime. Jermaine will be our guest. Kent will be our guest at halftime of Monday night's game at ISU. Rick Shipley and I broadcast beginning at 5.35 from Redbird Arena. On the inbound, McKinney. Throw it to the uh, baseline right. It's Lindemann against Kent. Out front, it comes to House. To Corver. On the left wing, it goes to McKinney. 5.45 before the half. 
Over the shoulder pass to Grimes. High post right. Off the ball to foul on Brooks. Trying to check Corver. And Darren picks up his first foul. Yeah, Southern defensively, Mike, they're really not letting Creighton get any good looks at all. I mean, Creighton's a ball club that shoots 51% on the year, and they're here in this ball game, the first half, 6 of 20 shooting the basketball. Credit Southern's defense. Remember, Creighton is 19-0 and when it shoots 50% or more this year. With the basketball, it is Lindemann just leaning in on Kent. To Grimes, rolls down the left wing. Great pass goes up. Fouled by Willis to save the goal. And Sly picks up his first foul. Creighton, in its last five ball games, though, has only shot 50% one time. But still, during that stretch, Creighton is 4-1. and one. The Blue Jays have won 9 out of 10 in four straight. Southern's won 10 out of 11. Grimes' free throw is rimming in. Mike Grimes, 65% from the line. Creighton from the line in this game is 3 for 3. Salukis lead by 6. Grimes is trying to make it five. Here it is. The rimming. Yes. Grimes gets the roll on the road. And the Blue Jays creep back within five. On the inbound high, grab by Brooks. Double team on. Throw it back to Harrison. Harrison throw it to Jermaine. He's three quarters of the way up. Jermaine into the front court with a left hand dribble. And he's picked up by House to Harrison who trailed. Harrison at the center jump circle. So Lucas lead it by five. Here's Brooks at the left of the circle for Kent. In the left corner. Here comes the three. Kent has six. Kent has 63 this year. Southern by eight. Left corner, it's House. Looks inside. Throws to McKinney and back to House. He looks inside at Dearman. Out instead, it goes to McKinney and back to House. House to the basketball, free throw line left. Brian, high post right. Down the lane against Willis. Goes up with a shot. No good. Rebounded by Jermaine. Jermaine finds an outlet to Brooks. Brooks up the floor with the basketball. That high dribble of his at the right half. Throws to the baseline. Willis can't hold it. Loose ball. Brooks has it. Wrap around for Harrison. Baseline left. He'll drive it back out to the left wing. Now Harrison, top of the circle. Harrison looking. Throw the post. Tough pass. Willis can't get it. Loose ball comes away. The house and Harrison forced it into the front court. House push it ahead. It's Grimes against Harrison. Now against Kent. Runs over Kent. Blocking ball on Kent. Kent came right up. Block charge. Went Creighton's way. And Kent picks up his first foul of the ball game to go with six points. Now Southern turns the ball over, Mike, and Creighton comes back very quickly. It looked like they were going to get a shot before Southern could get back, get set defensively, and Grimes went up, and he was actually looking to pass the basketball, but they're getting the one-on-one -on -one opportunity, so it's going to be Grimes at the line. First team into the bonus is Creighton. Grimes at the line to our right. Jermaine gets a rest. Hairston has a rest. As you might expect, it is hot, hot, hot in here tonight. Grimes ready at the free throw line to our right for the Blue Jays. He just hit two. He's a 63 percenter, so he's not a very good bet to hit these two. Dabbert waiting to come in for the Blue Jays. Creighton closed his Civic Auditorium and has Kyle Corver night Monday night against Wichita. Grimes is ready. The free throw is good. Well, he's three for three. I still say not a good bet to hit this fourth one, Greg. But yeah, we've, talked, bet. we've talked about the free throws, though, Mike. They're five of five. Yep. That's what's keeping them in the ballgame. Here comes the next one. Made it. And Grimes has four for four from the free throw line, and they are six for six now as a team. It's 25 to 19. The Salukis by six. And into the front court. Here comes Kent. Shy half court now. Cross court at the Brooks. Back to Kent in the front half of the floor. Kent at the left hatch with a right hand dribble to Brooks. Corner right, it goes to Corn. Back out to Brooks. Over to Turner. Shot fake. Slash to the left wing. Back to Brooks. A three at the point. DB. No. Too strong. Rebound by Corver. Corver with the basketball. Push it ahead to Funk. Funk into the front court. Pushes it to Bowden at the right hash. Back to Corver. Corn is on him for Southern. To House on the left wing. House looks inside. Outside instead to Funk. High post right. Dabbert. Fake the handoff. Now hands it off to House. Rolls to the right wing. Brooks is right with him. House mishandles but still has it. Look at the post. Outside instead. Bowden. 13 on the shot clock. Southern defending beautifully. Here's Corver free throw line left against Corn. Gonna force one. Air ball to Brooks. Two air balls for Corver. Front court Turner. Creighton's back. Turner shoots a three. Rimming. No. Rebound. Willis. Southern with the basketball. Willis dribbles out of trouble to uh, Turner. To Kent. Ball fake right behind the back dribble. Over to Corn right corner. Yo. In and out. Rebounded by Corver. He went part way down. Up the floor. Bowden. Bowden races. Turner's back. They go to the goal. Put it up. Good and a foul. What a shot by DeAnthony Bowden. Bowden has his first basket. A foul on Brian Turner, his first. And Bowden has a chance to make it a three-point game. Southern just didn't get back in time. Mike Creighton pushed it very quickly. Bowden so quick with the basketball. He was strong to the hoop. He gets it off of the window and gets the basket to go. 
Creighton just continues to hang around. They're back to within four now. Southern's biggest lead was at nine at 22-13. Southern on top now, 25-21. 3.26 left, first half. Corver goes out of the ball game. Grimes comes into the ball game. Interesting that after each air ball, Dana Altman selected that time to rest Corver. Here is Bowden. He's a 52 percenter at the line, but their team is six for six. Is it contagious tonight? Here it is. He missed it. Rebounded by Brooks. And Darren on the board. Dan defending tonight. He has four rebounds, though he's 0 for 4 from the floor. He also has two assists. Darren with the basketball gives it up to Turner. On the left wing, it is Corn for SIU. To Brooks. To the far boundary. Corner right, it's Turner. Off the dribble to Warren. Right back to Turner. Low post, it's Corn who brings it back out to the far boundary to Brooks. 11 on the shot clock. Kent over a zone. A three. Yeah! The first cellular three gives Kent 61. And it's nine for Kent in this ball game. And the seniors have 20 of Southern's 28 points. Into the front court, here comes Funk. Saluki's lead by seven. Crowd's on its feet here. Here's Bowden looking inside, outside instead to Funk. Funk at the right hash to the right wing. Right corner, Turner's on him. To Bowden looking at the post instead to Grimes. To House, left wing. Looking inside. Shot clock's at 15. Out front, House around a screen. Right wing, it's House. Spinning, turning, firing, House, no, rebound, House in the lane, puts it to the floor, muscling back up, and he scores. Larry House with good work, he has seven, and Southern's up by five. Into the front court, Turner pushes it to Brooks. Brooks turns and throws back to Turner, trailing on the play. Brian Turner with the ball. Left of the circle, it goes to Kent. Kent gets a screen from Warren, picks up his dribble, throws it to Korn. Weber wants time. He doesn't like the way this is going, but nobody sees him. Here's Brooks, corner left, Kent, goes on a baseline drive, shoots from eight, got it! No need for a time, Cole. 11 for Kent. Up the floor, it's Bowden. One-on-one -on -one with Kent in the lane. Around him, goes to Warren. The shot is up, no, stop, up, up. It's a goal, Tenning on Gabbard. And it's Saluki basketball. 151 left. Media timeout. Listen to the arena as the Salukis lead Creighton 30-23 to in this championship game back in 90 seconds. If you're a seafood lover, you're going to love this. Prairie Land Seafood, the same company that sells high-quality local... King, Southern Illinois' largest furniture store east of the Mall Carbondale. Well, it's been senior leadership, especially on the offensive end, out of Dearman and also William to credit Southern's team. Their team defense has been outstanding, especially guarding the three. Creighton only one of three shooting the three ball. The only thing that's keeping Creighton in is the way they're shooting free throws. Six for six on the inbound. It's Kent, tosses it into Harrison, double teams on, gets through it with a dribble, gives it up to Kent. Far boundary, it's Brooks. Right back to Hairston. Got to get it in the front court. Two with a pass to Jermaine. Jermaine on the left wing. Back to Hairston. Southern gets it in the front court and has not turned it over again against the Creighton Press yet. Here is Brooks. Minute and a half before the Golden Corral halftime. Here's Brooks between the circles. Playing for a Missouri Valley Championship tonight. Here's Brooks. Bowden all over him. Give it up to Jermaine on the far boundary. Creighton steps up to defense. Six on the shot clock. Jermaine, shot fake on Corbett to Warren with four on the clock at 18-footer. Good! Josh Warren on the right side gets his first basket. That's eight points off the SIU bench. Southern up by nine. This matches the Saluki's biggest lead. House, low post left. It's Dabbert. One-on-one -on -one with Warren. Back it in. Turns, elbows, leans in. Right hand push, rimming. No. Rebounded by Jermaine. Jermaine gets rid of it to Hairston. Here come the dogs who lead by nine. And Weber says, go, go, go. And here they go. Hairston into the front court. Hairston at the left of the circle. Hook it for Kent. A ball, a foul of the screen on Jermaine. Jermaine with an illegal screen, a moving screen, says referee Steve Skiles. And that's Jermaine's second foul. And that's a big moment here at this uh, big ball game with the Salukis ahead by nine and bidding for a double-digit lead. Instead, they turn it back with a foul with 54 seconds left in the half. Yeah, you hate to see Jermaine Dearman get that type of a foul. And Dearman's had a tremendous uh, first half from the field. He's 5-5, five of five, one of two from the line. 11 points in the first half for Jermaine Dearman. Nate Funk for the Blue Jays into the front court. In front of us, it's Corver at the right half. Beats it to the low post. It's Grimes, one-on-one. -on -one. Back and down, low post right, turns into the lane, throws it out on the left side, House. He'll go to 15 and fire. House in and out, no good. Rebound, Willis can't hold it. Trying to save, can't do it. It's out of bounds, off slide. And it's still Creighton basketball, 36.4, new shot clock for the Blue Jays. One thing about Willis, when he's in the ball game, he's always around the basketball. That's because he's all over the offense and defensive boards. Nate Funk to inbound it unguarded for Creighton, right of the goal. Toss it into Corver on the far boundary. It's a Bowden between the circles. Southern by nine, playing for a Valley Championship against the other co-leader, Creighton. Here's Funk with the ball. 25 on the shot, 26 on the game. Creighton can play for a final shot here and some measure of momentum at the half. 
Corver with the ball, fiddling with it at half court with Funk as they wind clock. Hairston on Funk. Give it up to Corver. How about a steal here, lads? Here's Funk, turns, looks over the shoulder, and Hairston closes on him. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Funk top of the circle. Into the lane. Funk to the goal with a shot. Rimming, no. Slap up, no. Next rebound. Willis has it with three seconds left. The tie up. Willis wrestles his way out. Two seconds left. Tie up. Alternate possession to the Salukis. Two seconds left. Weber wants time, Greg, to set a play right before the Golden Corral halftime. Yeah, and once again, it was Sylvester Willis, Mike. He challenged the drive by Funk, and he was also there on the uh, defensive boards to tie up Grimes. And Southern's going get to get the basketball with two seconds left in the ballgame. Southern enjoying their biggest lead. Titles, first time in Valley history for the Salukis. Creighton's trying for a share of three straight league titles. The last time that happened was 1971. Two seconds left. How about a hoop right before the buzzer? Can they get it to Kent? How about Jermaine? He's red hot. Jermaine is not in the back game right now. He's out with two fouls. Horn on the inbound. Face balls at half court. Josh Warren, 25-footer. It's a buzzer banking. No, it's halftime. So Warren's shot just misses, but still an excellent first half and a standing ovation for the dogs who lead at the intermission, 32-23. to We'll be back with the Golden Corral halftime after these messages. The last time out against SMS in the final 12 minutes to win 63-58. Remember, in each of the last four meetings, the team split those four meetings. The team that led at halftime lost. SIU 32, Creighton 23. Creighton with the ball right to left in the second half. It is McKinney for the Blue Jays. To Lindemann. Open 18-footer. Got it. They left an open shot to start the second half. Lindemann nailed it. He has four. And Creighton steps up the pressure. Here comes Kent Shy. The pressure he gives it up on the far side to Brooks Brooks center of the floor Brooks into the front court opening minute of the second half the Salukis lead here's a dribble handoff to Hairston he's checked by McKinney to Kent at the center jump circle after an 11 point first half here's Kent at the right half to Brooks between the circles for SIU at the left of the circle and he backs it up now he throws to Hairston 11 on the shot clock Hairston looking inside looking outside looks at the shot clock sees seven Stetson right of the circle against Lindemann. Five of the clock. Crossover. Going to try to take him. Go to the wing and fire. That's way off. Rebound long. Corver has it. Corver comes away with the ball. Up the floor. It's McKinney. Lob it ahead to Howe. Open. Doesn't shoot the three. Takes it to the right wing. To McKinney. To Corver. Off on the left side. It goes to Lindemann. Low post left. It goes to Darren. Over the uh, defense. To House. Leaps. Throws to McKinney. Back to House. Right hand shot. Good. And House and the Blue Jays start the second half like they start the first. And it's Southern by five. And Brooks and Harrison really need to get on track offensively. Mike, either player scored in the first half. Here's Brooks. Crossover. Pop up. Over McKinney. Got it. Oh, my God. Nails a 12-footer and Southern leads by seven. Here's McKinney around Harrison to the goal. Puts it up and down and McKinney gets a layup. And Southern's guards didn't get back and the Salukis lead it by five. Throw it in to Hairston. Back it goes to Brooks. Minute and a half gone in the second half. Southern leads by five. Here's Willis in the front court for SIU. At the right of the circle. Now whistle. Timeout called by referee Steve Skiles. And Larry House was limping. And Southern with the basketball. And Steve Skiles let him have the timeout. It's a complete full house here tonight. They just announced the attendance, 10,014. House is out of the ball game, and they substitute into Anthony Bowden. Yeah, they get House out of there. He looked like he rolled his ankle over. It was just an injury timeout. No timeout char charge to Creighton. SIU Alumni Association trivia coming up. Here's Brooks in front of us at the right hatch. Out front against Lindemann. Takes him to the free throw line. Into the lane. Wrap around. Jermaine in the lane. Goes up. Blocked by Corver. Comes to Brooks. He loses it. Jermaine spins. Ducks under. Fires. It scores. And he remains perfect. Big game is perfect tonight again. He is 6 for 6 from the field. Into the front court for the basketball. It's McKinney. SIU leads by 7. Here's Corver. Left of the circuit. It goes to Lindemann. Lindemann whips it to the free throw line. Darren into the lane. Up over Willis. High archer. No. Rebound tap. On the floor, there's a battle. On the floor, Williams and Bowden rolling over Bowden. Now into the fray, it's Turner. It's out of bounds off Southern. And it's Creighton basketball under its goal with a new shot clock, 17.42 to play in the ball game. Took forever for the blow of the whistle yep. on that particular play. Took forever. Here's McKinney to inbound it. Kent was at the bottom of that scrum. McKinney looks toward the Creighton bench to get the play call. Now, referee Paul Jansen and referee Burt Smith have a conversation. And now Jansen comes to the scores table, perhaps about the shot clock. And now Jansen. And Jansen tells something to Weber. 
I think Weber thought it should have been a jump ball. And Paul Jansen said the ball was loose. That's why it wasn't a jump ball. White was out of bounds, meaning the Salukis, so the ball goes to Creighton. On the inbound, it's McKinney. He's looking and looking, two-handed into Corver, who one-hands it left of the circle. Back to McKinney. Low post left is Darren. Darren backing in on Willis. Turns, right-hand flyer, rimming. Go. Rebound battle for foul on Darren. And Southern gets the basketball. And Brody Darren has three fouls to go with one basket. And Dana Altman, the reigning Valley Coach of the Year, sends Mike Grimes into the ball game with 17.34 remaining in the contest. On the inbound, it'll be Kent for Southern. Dogs led by nine at halftime. Creighton closed it within five. Now it's seven. Here is Brooks on the far boundary into the front court. Cross courts it to Turner. Up the floor comes to Jermaine. Around the horn to Brooks. Brooks on the left wing to Willis. Willis backs it up, left of the circle. He had seven rebounds in the first half. Sly looking inside, inside. He finds Brooks. Shot fake. Around Corver, in deep. Reverse layup. Did he step on the boundary? No, he oh. walked. Turned it over. Also thought he stepped in the boundary. Ball goes to Creighton, length of the floor to go. And Corver will throw it in in front of the Saluki students who chant air ball behind his back. Is Creighton ever going to get Corver going on the offensive end? He has no threes. He has only one basket in this ball game. McKinney to Corver, right in the circle of three, and he buried it. There it is. He was right on cue also. <laughs> 111 threes in his this season for Corver, and it's 36-32. That's his first three. It's a huge difference in this ball game. In 28 ball games this year, he has 111 threes. Far boundary, it is Darren Brooks to Jermaine. Out at 22 feet at the top of the circle. Jermaine, right of the circle. Dribble handoff to Kent. Behind the back dribble. 13 on the shot clock. Kent against the double team. Takes it right corner. Goes baseline around corner. Pop one for five feet. Ribbing. Yes! Kent Williams scores off the dribble. Beat the double team. He has 13. Then half back though. Here's Bowden around. Kent the goalie. Oh, missed the shot. That happens every time Kent gets in that deep, Greg. Brooks got back there late and fouled, and it's a second foul. Yeah, Kent Williams is usually the guy that always gets back and protects. And that time when he took it strong to the hole, he was on the baseline, he was in too deep, and nobody got back. Didn't give him any help. Bowden so quick with the basketball. Creighton pushes up the floor. Bowden was fouled on the play, taking it to the basket. Bowden's going to go to the line to shoot free throws. And on the year, Bowden only at 52%. He missed his first one in the first half. That foul was on 11, not one. The foul was on Sly. Here's the free throw, and Bowden missed it. Willis has two fouls. Brooks still has one. Sly goes to the bench, and he's been big in this big game. And out of the ball game, he goes. And into the ball game comes Warren. Southern by six, has led by nine. And the bench was big in the first half. They got eight points off the bench, Southern. Eight of Southern's 32 points, 25% of the points. Free throw good by Bowden. Bowden has three. That quiets the crowd for at least a moment. And the Salukis lead by five in this championship game. Inbound to Turner against the double team. Leans in, splits it, throws to Dearman. Up the floor, it's Warren with Kent. Oh, didn't throw it to him. Back to Brooks, and Southern gets into its offense. We're just ahead of immediate timeout. Here's Jermaine to Warren. Warren at the right of the circle. They leave him alone out there. Off the dribble, Josh looking. Begging for some help, and he gets it to Turner. Turner between the circles, and Warren screens for him. Turner near the center jump circle. Turner looking inside. Throws it outside. Warren, 18 foot right side. Short. Rebound battle. Kent comes away. He's tackled by Grimes. And Grimes gets the foul. And Grimes picks up his first foul. Southern with the ball when we come back to the media timeout. SIU 38. Creighton 33. Back to SIU Arena in 90 seconds. Hi, I'm Vicki Scoggins with Century 21 Real Estate in Carbondale. In my first career, I took care of hearts in the cardiac catheterization lab at Memorial Hospital of Carbondale. Percentage. Who holds the SIU single season record for free throw percentage? Email us now. Go dogs at shawneelink.net. Darren Brooks to inbound it in front of the Saluki bench. 16 minutes to play. Here is Kent. Kent with a basketball to Warren in the right corner. Warren looking inside. Looking outside and outside he finds Brooks. Brooks with the basketball, right in the circle. Hits Kent a three, Barry! A first cellular three, it's 16 for Kent Williams, a big shot in the big game. And right out of the timeout, Coach Weber sets the play for Williams, and he answers with a three. Three for four is Kent from three-point territory. Over the shoulder pass to Bowden. On the left wing, it's Mike Grimes. Grimes again, still Warren. Back and down, spins baseline, muscle up, fumble the ball. Goes and gets it. Turning, looking, throws to McKinney's fouled by Turner. Got too close, and Brian knows it. And Turner with his second foul, and Dana Altman is livid at his ball club's offense right now with 15.25 to play in the ballgame. I think he's also trying to foul up 
you know, fire up Corver just a little bit. He's got to be much more active on the offensive end. You know, I know he's a very quiet player and he gets everybody else involved, but this guy needs to step up a little bit. This is big, big basketball game for them. And so far, Kent between the two of them has been the bigger of the two in this big game. Saluki's by eight. Kent gets a rest now. On the inbound, looking at McKinney as the Saluki's lead by eight. Two-handed into Funk. Funk with the basketball. What's the over-under on how long Weber will leave Kent on the bench? On the far boundary, it is McKinney. McKinney at the right of the circle, backs it up. 25 on the shot clock. Left of the circle, into the lane. Chuck stop, leads in. Schoen from behind. Fouled him in a basket. And Blake Schoen, with as freshman a play as you can make, was beaten on the play and then just reached back and fouled his first foul, a second foul of this ball game. And he may have handed Creighton three points as McKinney's at the line. Yeah, he was, Schoen was just beaten on the dribble drive on that play. And he went up to try to block the shot, raked him across the top of the head. The shot falls. It's Blue Jays back to within six to cut it to five if McKinney can knock down the throw. Here it is. McKinney in and out and back in. He's a 76 percenter at the line. He is four. And Creighton back within five. And here's Stetson running the baseline. Got to get it in. Does to Jermaine. Jermaine is midway up on the far side of the floor. Looking for some help. Off the dribble. Front court. A pass goes to Warren. Warren throws it back to Brooks at half court. Here's Brooks between the circles. Brooks gives it up to Schoen at the right hash in front of us. Blake with the center jump circle against Bowden, picks up the dribble, and bounces it to Warren. Warren with the ball, top of the circle, they dare him to shoot, he doesn't. He gives it up to Hairston, 13 on the shot clock, Hairston in the lane, throws it off to Jermaine, Jermaine backing up, leans in, Corver's on him, he's in trouble, bounce pass, Hairston in the lane, fumbles it, got it back, corner left, it's shown, he's open, he's shooting, he missed it, rebound, Jermaine has it, lost it, battle thrown by Corver off him, out of bounds, and it's SIU basketball with 14.36 to play in the ball game. And Hairston will throw it, and it Kent's begging to come back in, and he's coming back in. Southern really going to the glass, Mike, and keeping it alive on the offensive boards. Corver felt like he picked up the basketball. He wasn't there. Funk tried to get it for Creighton. Either one of them could come up with the basketball. It's going to be Southern's basketball underneath their own basket. On the inbound, here comes Brooks. Toss it in, lunging. Jermaine lunges, catches, turns, faces, goes free the line, trying to do it himself. Down the lane to go, put up, pinned by Grimes. No, rebounded by Brooks. Here's a 12-footer. No, rebound battle. Warren battling. Loose ball to Southern. It is Hairston on the wing. Goes to the free throw line. Dumps it to Warren. Cush pass has it. Throws it back out. Whistle, and we have a foul on Bowden. That failed Southern out because Hairston made another tough interior pass for his teammates to handle. Unfortunately for Southern, Bowden fouled, and Korn is coming in for the first time in the second half for Southern. Yeah, those passes are pretty difficult to uh, to handle for a guy like Josh Warren, 6'8", 250, and they hit you in the ankle. That was the case there. Tough pass to handle, but give Southern credit. They're all over the offense again, keeping the basketball alive. New shot clock for Southern with the 14-20 mark in the ball game. Five-point advantage for the Dogs, 41-36. Southern out-rebounding this team, 25-21 on the inbound. It's a moving screen on Kent. And Weber's irate about the call, and Kent smirks at the call. It's his second foul, and it comes with 14-20 to play in the ball game. and Creighton has the ball, down by five. And Corver will inbound it, and the Blue Jays can get within three or two with the three ball. And this has to be a play for Corver. Here's Funk between the circles, picks up the dribble, and he throws to House. Corver's just standing in the left corner. Now they throw it to him as he steps out to the left wing, throws it to the back door, knock loose for Funk, and it comes away to Warren the floor to Hairston. Hairston straighten his back. Hairston top of the circle. Weber begs for him to slow it down. He does. Corn at the top of the circle. To Kent. Left of the circle for a three. Too strong. Missed it badly and it's rebounded by Corver. Corver comes away with the basketball. He gets it ahead to Funk. Funk into the front court. The Salukis lead by five. Left of the circle. Now on the left wing with the ball. It's House. House to the basketball. Looks inside. Off the ball. A foul. It's on Hairston and Weber's in a rage and he turns and runs back to the bench and Jansen's staring at him. As Weber stares back at Jansen, and Hairston picks up his second foul with 13.40 to play in the game. Yeah, Hairston was matched up that time with Corver, tried to keep him from getting through the lane area, and kind of rode him through the lane area and picked up the personal foul. On the inbound, it comes into Grimes. Grimes looks inside, outside. Instead, it throws to Corver, and Brooks has it. Wraparound pass sloppy, but it comes to Funk. Throw into the lane. It's Grimes. Backing in on Warren. Turns, leans, ducks under. Right hand push. Good. Grimes with a power move. He has six, and Creighton back within three. Here's Kent. Seven and a half gone in the uh, second half. Front court, here comes Hairston. The Salukis led by, lead by three. They're led by nine at halftime. Here's Warren at the left of the circle. Warren looks left, throws it right. It's Corn. It's an open three. It's short, and it's rebounded by Creighton. Southern with one shot and out. Corver to Funk. They can tie it with a three ball. Funk to the free throw line. Corner left, Lindemann out to Funk. 
Funk with the ball. Now he throws to Corver. On the right side, it goes to House. House for the Blue Jays. Slashes into the lane. Jump stop. Dump it down low. Reverse layup. Lindemann scores, and they're within one. You think you have the game going, and all of a sudden they run. It's a one-point Saluki lead. Here comes Brooks on the far boundary, and the crowd's on its feet here. Funk is guarding Brooks. Weber's calling the play, his arms in the air. Here's Hairston at the center jump circle. Curling, Kent into the lane, leans in, got his man in the air, he's fouled by Grimes. That was classic Kent. He curled just inside the free throw line, and Grimes clocked him, and that is the fourth foul on the Blue Jays. Shooting foul, and Kent's at the line to our right. Yeah, Kent just tried to make something happen there, and that was a nice play by Kent Williams. His ball club offensively was really uh, sputtering. He just took matters in his own hands. Nice dribble drive. And then, as you said, a, a patent up and under, a fake move, and draw the defense, defensive man up in there and come down on his back. Williams at the line to shoot two. The Blue Jays have gotten back to within one. My mistake, Grimes has three fouls. Here is the shot. It's no good. Kent's missed two free throws. Back in Jermaine Dearman, back in Brian Turner, back in Sylvester Willis. He plays so hard that every once in a while he misses free throws. Because of fatigue, you have to think it's always the first shot. Yeah, Southern's got to get a little more out of Harrison, Mike. Harrison really struggling 0 of 3 from the floor and hadn't marked in the ballgame yet. Here's another one for Kent. Made that one. Kent hits it. Kent has 17 points. He is now 151 points shy of Chico Vaughn, all time at Southern. Here's Funk, center jump circle, turns, throws to Corver, right wing, it goes to House, House with the ball, back it in, spins, goes baseline over Jermaine, shot it short, rebound volleyball, Brian Turner has it for seven. Turner, just ahead of immediate timeout, pushes it to Brooks, Brooks at the left half, left of the circle, whistle, and he palmed the ball, palmed the ball, Darren Brooks carried the ball, he doesn't argue about it, that's one of the few times we've seen that call. So it must have been awful blatant. Now the Blue Jays can tie. And if it is called, it's usually called on Harrison and not Darren Brooks. Harrison's usually the guy that's guilty of that violation. Wow. That time it was on Darren Brooks. 12-10 to play. A big game, and that call comes out. Into the front court with the basketball. It's Funk. He struggles with it. At the right hash on the far boundary against Turner. Beat him on the screen. Left of the lane. In the lane. Force one. Nope. Now he passes it to Darren. Through Corbett's hands, and Turner has a steal. He has a one-on-one. -on -one here he goes to the goal, puts it up. No, rebounded by Darren. One on one, and Turner took it right to the rack, and Creighton could tie again. you got to credit Corver for a hustle play getting back on that, too. Corver off the dribble, leans in, throws it back to the point, and Funk. Funk between the circles, Creighton trying to tie. Great ball game in the arena. It's lived up to the hype. Ball knocked loose by Turner. Got a steal. Ahead to Brooks. Brooks by himself. Brooks with the steal. Brooks with the dunk. Turner with the steal. And Southern by four. And Southern kept Creighton for tie in the game. In the front court, timeout. Creighton will listen to the arena. Brian Turner stole the ball. And Darren Brooks chest bumps three of his teammates after getting the dunk. 44-40, the Salukis lead it here at SIU Arena. Left for most for free throw percentage in a single season. SIU 44, Creighton 40. On the inbound, it comes into McKinney. The Blue Jays trail by four, and they have it in the front court following their timeout. Here's McKinney, right in the circle. Lindemann shuffles to the right wing, goes baseline over Dearman, fires it in. Lindemann on the slash and score. And Lindemann has eight points. He averages three and a half. And Southern's up by two. Here is Jermaine, shy half court. Jermaine into the front court, back to Brooks, who just got a big dunk for SIU. Brooks between the circles. Saluki's lead at 44-42. Brooks with the standing left hand dribble. One four look. Kent comes out and catches on the far boundary. Creighton's playing man. Out front slashing. Kent into the lane. Jump stop with an eight footer. Good. Kent Williams with another big shot, and they set the play for me as 19. And they really attacked it well, Mike. It was actually a box and one. McKinney was on Williams, the other four in a, a, a zone set, and Williams took it right at McKinney for the hoop. With the ball on the left wing, it's house. Out front it comes to McKinney. At the right, hash on the right wing to the baseline, dribbles through, throws it in the lane, knocked loose by Dearman. Dearman steals it. Oh, he couldn't get it to Brooks, who's on the runoff. Instead, they get it back, and Lindemann throws to Darren, who dumps. He has four. Jermaine just couldn't look up the floor. Brooks was free. Into the front court, it's Jermaine. Dribble handoff to Brooks. And Southern is back by two, 46-44. Brooks at the center jump circle for SIU. Darren Brooks, we're just ahead of immediate timeout. Brian Turner with the ball at the right of the circle. Turner at the head of the circle. Back, picks up the dribble, throws to Kent. He goes to the free throw line. Into the lane, backdoor pass. Willis dunks with the right hand. And what a vicious right hand dunk. Willis makes it a four-point Saluki lead. And what an assist by Kent. And 
into the front court with the ball. It is House on the left wing. House against Brooks. House gives it up to McKinney. Right in the circle, it's Darren. A handoff to McKinney. Backs it up to the far boundary. Low post left, it goes to Darren. Works into the lane. Out, oh, he threw it away to Kent. Kent up the floor. One on one with Lindemann. Into the lane, they go. Put it up, and no. Slap Willis. Yes. Fly ran the floor and picked up Kent. Seven by six. Nine. 20 to play in the ball game at the arena. We always talk about players having to step up and play special. That's exactly what Sylvester Willis is doing. Time out. Great listen to the arena. This is the loudest that we've heard it since Bird played here. Louder even than when Corn hit that three against Indiana a year ago. And Southern has played excellent basketball here in the first 30 minutes of this game. Southern continues to have an answer every time Creighton knocks on the door in the ball game. 9-18 left in the ball game. Six-point lead. Go dogs. I think Kent's a little woozy. And Thompson put his arm around him. And Kent had a little dazed look on him. Man, he's playing here tonight in this, his final regular season home game. He's out of the ball game right now. He's resting. He'll be okay. Looks fine right now. Here's Lindemann, top of the circle. Wraparound pass. Backdoor. Great pass. Shot blocked. A foul by Willis. Oh, Willis with a great block and a foul, though. It's his third foul. And Sylvester Willis has had a quiet junior season. But what a noisy regular season finale. I think it'd be nice to try and put a little jinx on Corver. Here's the guy that shot, to, you know, he shoots almost, he shoots 91%, 90 of 99. And in eight games against Southern, he's 31 of 31. It's first free throw tonight. Here it is. Missed it. Atta boy. It worked. It worked. The NCAA's all-time free throw shooting leader just jinxed Corver. I thought he was getting close to that record. <laughs> got close to your record, it's time to put the voodoo on it. Oh, put that voodoo on it. Another one for Corver. Listen to this place. Corver tonight has only five. He missed that. Rebounded by Dearman. What in the world is going on? He's missed two free throws. 50 to 44. Nine minutes to play. There's plenty of time. Here's Hairston center jump circle for SIU. Steps in with the ball. Give it up to Brooks at the left pad. Brooks with the ball, left of the circle, out front, pushed by Corver. Brooks, crossover, beat his man in the lane, goal to the goal, shot is up and good! Darren Brooks attacks the glass, has six up the floor, corns back, Bowden, stop the ball, corner right, here's the Lindemann, a three, too strong, no good, rebound volleyball, Corver has it, Creighton has it back, McKinney is open out front and shooting, it's no good, rebound, Grimes can't hold it, Creighton can't hold it, knocked out by Dearman, and it is. Blue Jay ball when we come back, and Jermaine can't believe the call. 8.29 to play. Southern's up by 8. Trying to win a Missouri Valley Conference Championship on Senior Night at Home. Back to the arena in 90 seconds. Do you like to get your money's worth? Join the SIU Alumni Association. As a member, you will receive Southern Alumni Magazine, invitations to special events and members-only discounts at local restaurants like the Pasta House Company, El Mahillo, and Carnes Pizza. 3% in 1977. Terry Shepard gets a free T-shirt from the SIU Alumni Association. McKinney to inbound for the Blue Jays, who trail by eight at Carbondale. On the inbound, looking, toss it in toward half court from the baseline. Bowden runs it down deep and comes into the front court of the far boundary against Hairston. Gives it up to McKinney. 8.20 to play in the ball game. Here is Lindemann looking inside against Korn. Still looking inside. Outside it goes to McKinney. McKinney backs it up with 20 on the shot clock to Lindemann. To Bowden. He looks left. He throws right. It goes to Lindemann. Far boundary it goes. It's McKinney. 15 on the shot clock to Lindemann. Feet high post and grinds. Turns faces on the left side. Hand off to McKinney. Dribble drive to the left wing to the baseline. Double team shut off on the baseline. Skip it over. Lindemann in the right corner for an open three. Banking no. Rebound slap. Hipston has it. Looking to push it. Does to Korn. Korn slows it up and almost stumbles in the boundary. Gives it back to Turner and Southern gets into an offense under eight minutes to play. Another media time out is coming. Southern trying to make it double digits. Boy, this place will fire up if he gets the double digits. Here's Hairston. Feeds the post. It's Jermaine against Corver. Turn around, jump hook. No. Rebounded. Hairston trying to go back up against three and he dribbles out. Southern resets. Hairston slow it down. Steps and slow it down. Slow it down. Left of the circle. Free throw line. Pulls back. Holden to Dearman in the post. Going to work on Corver. Trying to take him. Does. Scores. It's 10. It's 10. There's the magic double figure number. 7.15 to play. Saluki's 54. Creighton 44 at the arena. So they're an 8-3 to three run. Here's Bowden on the left wing to the baseline. Bumps around Dearman. Corner right, Lindemann. Right of the circle. Corner a three. No. Rebound. 
Grimes to Bowden under the goal. Bowden dribbles it out. Throws to Korver. Korver in the lane. Leaps. Forces one. No. Rebound slap. Korver has it. Throws to the post. Lindemann for a layup. And Korver comes away with an assist. And Lindemann gets his 10th point. Southern actually scored eight straight, Mike. It was a 13-3 run before that last basket by Lindemann. And Weber with a timeout with 6.45 to play in the ballgame is going to put Kent back in as the Salukis get back within, or their lead is cut rather, to eight points. It's the Furniture King scoring summary. It's brought to you by Southern Illinois' largest furniture store. It's just east of the mall, Carbondale. Kent Williams and his dogs going for win number 21 and a school record 15 Missouri Valley Conference win and a school record back-to-back -back regular season championships leads Creighton 54-46 with 6.40 to play in the game. Dearman with a basketball shy of half court. Dribble handoff to Hairston to Brooks. Brooks into the front court for SIU. Here's Darren at the center jump circle. Six and a half left, Southern by eight. Here is Brooks with about that sloppy. They throw it away. Here comes McKinney. One on one with Brooks to the goal. Puts it up and down. And McKinney scores. And a rare Saluki turnover leads to a Blue Jay point. And it's a six point ball game. 6.20 to play in the game. Hairston in the front court for the Salukis. It's one of the few times Southern doesn't, didn't score out of a timeout. Here is Kent. Off to a Hairston who curls. Goes free to line. And fires. And misses. And the slap up is good. Darren Brooks. Where did he come from? Darren Brooks. Under the goal, picks up his eighth point, and Southern's up by eight. Here's McKinney between the circles. Far boundary to Funk. Southern is back up by eight. Brooks with a huge stick back. Left of the lane, Darren. Or Darren goes baseline, and Jermaine shuts him out. To Corbett. He goes free throw line into the lane. To Deer Darren in the lane. Turnaround shot is good. Corver has assists tonight, but not basket. Southern by six. Hairston cross courts it to Kent. Kent in the front court for the Saluki. 5.35 to play in the ball game. We have a media timeout upcoming. Here is Hairston. Hairston with the ball for SIU. Hairston out between the circles of the basketball. Hairston looking, backs it up. Sets in Hairston hole. He throws to Kent. Kent at the center jump circle with the basketball. Kent at the left pass. Switches to the right. Buck by House and a foul by House. House picks up his first foul. That's only the fifth on Creighton. We have a media timeout. 5-19 to play in the ballgame. SIU 56, Creighton 50, back in 90 seconds. Hey, it's almost time for spring break, so go crazy! Are you heading for sunny skies and sandy beaches? Stop by Saluki Central before you leave for spring break and pick up, up his offense, Mike. He's 4-5 or five shooting the basketball. All eight of his points have come in the second half, and he's been the guy that's really shut down Kyle Korver most of the time. He's got some help from Brian Turner and also from Blake Schoen, but mostly it's been Darren Brooks. You know it's been mostly him. I mean, he's played 32 minutes already in the game. He and Kent and Jermaine, the leading candidates for the go-to guy of the game from Ian Baker on the inbound. Kent has it from Brooks at the center jump circle. 5.15 to play in the game. Here is Turner. Turner at the left of the circle for the Salukis. Corner left. It's Darren for a three. In and out. Follow up done by Willis. Oh, man, was that a mess. Willis had great position. Eight for Willis. Here's McKinney at the left of the circle. Eight points, nine rebounds for Sly. He's close to a double-double in this big game. Low post, it's House. Southern by eight. Into the lane, it's House. Fakes, shoots, short. Rebound, Willis. He's got ten rebounds. What a game. Where did this come from from Sly? He's done this without fouling tonight. Salukis by eight. Southern trying to go up by ten, playing for a championship. Here's Turner on the far boundary for SIU. Turner to Willis at the right of the circle. Willis turns. On the right wing, still on the dribble. Out front it comes to Dearman. Dearman gives it up to Brooks, who backs it up. We're just ahead of immediate timeout. Southern by eight, taking time off the clock. Kent will left corner against Corver. Pin gets out of there. Four on the shot clock. Got to get a shot off. It's a three. Good! Kent Williams with the shot clock. It's firing. 22 for Kent. This place is going nuts. It's Southern's biggest lead. Dearman with a steal. Knocked it out of bounds and ended up on the press tables across the floor. Kent buried a three over Corver with 4.06 left, and the fans get sensitive. Yeah, the clock's starting to be a real factor, Mike. We're down right at that four-minute mark. Southern with their biggest lead, 11-point lead. They held a lead at 54-48. Creighton got back to within five. Southern continues to have an answer. Oh, oh, Sylvester Willis, my man, in tonight's game. On the inbound, it's to McKinney, to Deere, to a Lindemann. At the right of the circle against Dearman. Four minutes to play. Here's Corver against Brooks to the free throw line. Jumps up the lane. Puts it up. No good. He's fouled by Jermaine. Or did... Well, wait a minute. It might be up someone else. Yeah. And it's on Brooks. Brooks picks up his second foul. 
And with 3.56 left, Kyle Korver is at the free throw line to our left. An incredible ball game. He has only two field goals. A player of the year candidate nationally and the reigning player of the year in the league. And how many votes for player of the year will Kent Williams pick up in this championship game? Free throw by Korver. Got it. And Korver now incredibly is one for three from the free throw line. He has played most of the game. Here's the shot. Good. Korver hits them both, so it's not like he's had foul trouble. Immediate timeout. 61-52. Saluki's by nine. Back in 90. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. It's more than just a slogan. It's a way of life for State Farm agents Lori Mason, Bob Barr, Tony Gates, and Donna Gates. We talk a lot about Corver, but it appears that as Corver goes, that's how the Blue Jays go. And they lose uh, on the road at Evansville when he gets five in this ball game. Southern enjoying a nine-point advantage. Corver's been pretty quiet, only seven points in the ball game. And when you look at uh, at Corver's line, only two field goals in the ball game. Southern sure looks like an NCAA tournament team here tonight. Aaron Brooks will bring it up for the Saluki. Still plenty of time, under four minutes to play. SIU leads it, 61-52, and the Salukis go to war on the clock. Here's Kent at the center jump circle in the midst of his 22-point ball game. Here's Jermaine at the left hash to Willis between the circles. Top of the circle, dribble handoff, it's Kent. He goes free throw line, into the lane, back out to Brooks. Brooks to the free throw line, covered by Lindemann, backs it up, nine on the shot clock. DB between the rings for SIU with the ball on the left side. It's Kent, shot fake at 12, low post, Kent, it's Sly, air ball, comes to Jermaine at the shot clock buzzer, no, rebounded by Creighton. Corver comes away with it to McKinney, and the Blue Jays can get within seven. There's time, here's the Lindemann on the far boundary, back to McKinney, top of the circle, into the lane he goes, jump stop, through to Corver, right corner, it's a three, good. Kyle Corver gets his third basket of the night, his second three, it's 61-55, they're back within six. Three minutes to play for a Valley Championship. Brooks brings it up. Crowd is on its feet here. They won't sit down much the rest of this game. Here's Turner. Turner with the basketball. Left of the circuit. Hard boundary. It's Kent. Down the lane. Jermaine to the goal. He's foul to go to the line. Now how Southern shoots free throws might determine whether or not it wins this ball game and the margin it wins this ball game. Foul. SIU Alumni Association, remember, has provided us with a transmitter. You can listen to Greg and I and Rick Shipley and I on the road Monday at ISU and then next weekend in the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament, courtesy of your SIU Alumni Association. We pick a frequency on the FM band closest to 95.1. So bring your radios to ISU Monday and St. Louis next week. Free throw, no good by Jermaine. 2.45 left. Southern at least needs a point here. Jermaine has 15 in this ball game. Jermaine has seven rebounds in this game. Southern only seven opportunities to strife have made three. Next free throw. Good by Jermaine. That helps. He has 16. Southern is back up by seven. It was 11. 240 left. McKinney on the far boundary to Lindemann. Lindemann to McKinney. Two and a half to play in this game. Corver off the screen. Low post. Bowden. Bowden in the lane. Fumbles it. Gets it back. Struggles in the lane. Muscles up and scores. Bowden makes it five. And it's a five-point game. Here is Brooks, retreats against the pressure. Cross court, it goes to Turner and Creighton right back in this ball game. Into the front court, it's Brooks against the 17th ranked team in the country. To Turner, Southern must execute here. 210 left, Kent slashes into the lane, dribbles through, out to Jermaine at 30 feet. Jermaine holds to Turner, 205 left, 15 on the shot clock. Southern needs some points out of its delay game. Here's Brooks with 11 on the shot clock. 62 won't win it. Here is Brooks between the legs dribble. Top of the circle. It's a three. Brooks short. Rebound. Creighton. Corver one shot and out. Up the floor. Here they come. Left side it goes to Bowden. Bowden with the ball. 145 left. To McKinney. Tip. Loose ball in the back court. Turner hit it. Comes to McKinney. McKinney into the front court. 140 left. Up on the left side. It's five on four. As Turner got hung up and a three in the left corner by Bowden. Timeout. Creighton. And eight points for Bowden, and all of a sudden, Southern's lost all but two points of an 11-point lead, and there's trouble here with 136 left. Yeah, Creighton on a 10-1 run, Mike. Southern had that lead at the 405 mark. It was an 11-point lead at 61-50, to and now Creighton comes roaring back. Nine-point lead, Corver makes a three, and then all of a sudden, uh, Creighton's back in the ballgame because they make two three balls. Well, you knew it was going to go to the wire, and it is, even when it was an 11-point game. Here is Brooks against the double team, retreats, throws to Kent. The pressure's on, front court, they break it to Jermaine from Kent. He holds out at 44 feet. Jermaine holding, and holding, and holding. 
Deer and Southern thinks Bowden is holding Kent to Turner. Between the circles, it's Corn. 17 on the shot clock, 117 on the game clock. Here's Turner on the right wing. To the baseline, it's Brooks. Brooks turns with 10 on the shot clock, 110 on the game clock. Eyes the goal, backs his man down, goes baseline, dumps to Jermaine. He goes up and scores! Brooks to Jermaine! 18 for Jermaine! Dodged by four with one minute to play. Funk into the front court for the Blue Jays. Off on the left side, it goes to Bowden. Bowden at the left of the circle, he throws back to Funk. High post right, it's Brian. Goes back to the goal, hand off to Bowden. Rolls baseline, stumbles, pulls back, wrap around, pass to the post. Brian ducks under it, shut off, pass tip through away the court. Dearman might have got a piece of it. Southern has it back, 40 seconds left, up by four. Creighton turns it over, and then Ludeman fouls Kent. And it's an intentional foul. It's an intentional foul. Ludeman just flat shot Kent on the boundary, and Dearman and Brooks go over and hug him. And now Kent goes to the line to our right to make it a six-point ball game, and Dana Altman is livid at the intentional foul call on Ludeman. Well, a little surprising to them go after the basketball that hard, really, Mike. I mean, this ball game, sure, it's down under 40 seconds, but really surprised. And what a, really, I mean, that's that's a that's a play that if Creighton, as good as they are, should never make in a ball game. And at the line, here it is. Yes! A Valley Championship is 37 seconds away. Kent trying to increase the two-possession ball game. Here it is. Got it. Kent has 24. SIU 66, Creighton 60. McKinney into the ball game. Everybody on their feet. They have been for the last three minutes. Creighton cut it to two. Southern back up by four and gets the ball after the intentional foul on Lindemann. Here's Brooks on the inbound looking and looking and looking. He's guarded on the inbound. Got to get it in. Corn is open on the left wing and they have it. 35 seconds left. Southern and foul. They fouled Corn and Brad Corn goes to the free throw line for the first time in this ball game and Brad Corn has a free throw shooting streak on the line here as he goes to the line for SIU. Corn's a good free throw shooter on the year, Mike. He's 29 of 34 so he's shooting 85 percent but he has been hot. He's made 11 in a row. He's at the line to our right for the first time in this game. Southern's bench still at eight points. Free throw, Corn. Yes! It is a three possession game. 67 60. 34 seconds left. It's not over. Remember, Corver hit three threes in 38 seconds at Omaha. Free throw, good. But will Southern be denied tonight? 68-60, top of the circle, it's McKinney for a three, short, rebound on the floor, Southern has it, Turner has it, they found him, go to the line here, baby, and put the championship on the ice. 68-60, and Brian Turner goes to the free throw line, where he's made 10 consecutive free throws, he looks for 11 and 12, and has a chance to put the Salukis in the Valley Championship seat and in the driver's seat in the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. Now, Creighton gets back to two, Mike, and then Southern very calmly and collectively, they just reel off six straight points, and now it's Turner at the line with his ball club up by eight. Here is the first. Missed it. Rebounded by Grimes, who thought it was a two-shot foul and just now threw it to Funk. Into the front court. 68-60, it's Funk. Handoff, Corver, drop. Turner stripped it from him, they fouled him. Corver went up for a three. Corner, Turner stripped up. Now he'll go to the line with a chance to put the game away again. Turner at the line to our right. Listen to the arena. They sense it with 18 seconds left. Southern is 18 seconds away from back-to-back -back Valley title, back-to-back -back regular season titles for the first time ever. What a great steal that time by Turner, too, Mike. And Corver has had no daylight. He has not gotten any kind of a clean look. Here is Turner at the line to our right. Yes! Brian has four. Ten off the Saluki bench. Dodge by nine. Cardi's going to come in. Free throw good. Championship, baby. Saluki's up 70 to 60. And Cardi's going to get a chance to play on senior night. Hold on to your seats. They're going to rush this floor into the front court. It's Funk. Funk top of the circle on the left wing into the lane. Here's a 12-footer banking in by Nate Funk. He has four. Timeout Creighton with 12 seconds left. The Blue Jays have won the last two regular season titles in the Missouri Valley Conference, or shared them. Southern shared it with the Blue Jays last year, and the Salukis right now are away from 27 straight at home, 
a school record for league wins and Coach Weber's 100th win. Southern by eight. Can't just has to get it in. Still out of bounds. Threw it to Corn. Cross court. Corn runs the baseline. Throws it to Brooks. 11 seconds left. Loop it back to Corn. Nine seconds left. They won't challenge it. Carney's going to dribble it out on championship night. Carney waves to the crowd. Southern's the champion. Clinching a share. 70 62. And they rush the court here at SIU Arena. And Southern celebrates its fifth conference championship and perhaps gets itself a spot as an at-large team in the Missouri Valley in the NCAA tournament. The Dawgs thrill a sellout crowd with a 70-62 to victory over the Creighton Blue 